So one of the most common mistakes we see people make when they first start building with cob is not using the right materials. For your cob to be durable, it's very important that it's built with subsoil, not topsoil or pond muck or anything like that. Today I'm digging a hole out in the wood so I can show you the different layers. So first I'm going to brush away the plant debris. In this case it's leaves. But if you have something growing where you want to dig, that's not going to be any good to get mixed up in the subsoil you're digging out, so just set it to the side. Since we're in a wooded area, the topmost layer here is actually leaf mulch. Over the years, the trees have dropped their leaves and they've broken down, and this is what it turns into has sort of a reddish tint to it. There's maybe a couple inches of that mulch here. Next you'll see the topsoil. You'll still find some plant roots and other stuff like that in this layer. You can see it's a different color from the mulch. It's also a different color from the subsoil we'll find beneath it. Although the exact colors you'll find depend on the clays in the area and they can vary a lot. The subsoil is maybe about 6 inches deep here. Some places have no topsoil and you'll reach the subsoil almost immediately. Other places you'll have to dig down over a foot, but the change is almost always visible. Our subsoil is a lot more yellow than our topsoil. Once you hit the subsoil, it's mostly sandy clay. Well, mostly clay in our case here. Based on your subsoil, you might need to add more sand or more clay or a lot of straw to get a really strong cob mix, but it will at least stay together. Whereas what you see when someone accidentally uses topsoil is that it just has no strength at all. It will start crumbling as soon as it dries. Topsoil's real strength is that it's great for growing things, so use the topsoil for your garden beds and the subsoil for your building. I tried to get a close-up here of the hole I dug so you can see the layers a little better. If you're building anything with cob, you'll need to dig a much bigger hole. In fact, unless you're already planning on putting in a pond or something like that, or you're really dedicated to the idea of harvesting all of your materials on your property, a lot of times it's cheaper and easier to have subsoil delivered to you from somewhere else. Thank you for watching this quick tips video from the Uncle Mud family. You can find more useful information on earthen building, including our soil sourcing cheat sheet at unclemud.com store. And get the latest exclusive content, including extended videos, by supporting our work at Patreon. We'd love to see what you're working on, so please tell us about your natural building projects in the comments below.